Hello everybody, how are you doing today? I hope you're doing great. Today I wanted to show you how to install the Pokemon and Friends mod for Sammy. This video is only for a fresh installation. If you have already version 1.1.6 or lower, then please refer to the upgrade video, which is linked down there in the description. First, let me showcase you how this game works. In this game, Pokemon will spawn from time to time, but your fuels can also redeem channel point rewards to spawn a Pokemon directly. This game also supports a complete free version which runs without channel points, but I personally prefer the version with channel points. As soon as a Pokemon spawns, the spawn rewards will disappear and the ball rewards will appear. Then you can redeem the balls to try to catch the Pokemon. You can do a lot of different commands, like you could, for example, check the catch rate of the current Pokemon. You can customize your trainer with, let's say, set rate of 4 is um, another trainer avatar. If you want to see all the trainers available, you can always do trainers, which will show this in chat. And here you have all the different trainers that are available. So now if we throw a ball, for example Master Ball, because we really want that, then we have another trainer. And if you have enabled the Discord integration, this should automatically be sent to your Discord in a second. Here we go. It shows the profile picture of who caught it, it shows the Pokemon, the ball which was used, if it's shiny or not, and a small description. This game is also available in five different languages, English, German, Spanish, French, and Italian, and it features over 1000 Pokemon in total. It features generation 1 to 8, it features uh, the regional Pokemon, and it features all Mega Pokemon, as well as three custom Pokemon. In the future, you can also add your own Pokemon to this, so if you want that your viewers can for example, catch you, that's all possible. In version 1.2, there were a lot of cool new features added. Like for example, the streamer can now award Pokemon to the viewers by basically gifting them the Pokemon. It's also now possible to trade Pokemon because you can now send your own Pokemon to someone else and they need to accept it. I also made the name change much easier. So, for example, if we want to change the data from Chris to someone else, we just enter change name, Chris1508, and the new name will be test. Then it asks us if we really want to transfer all the data, and if we confirm it with confirm change, the data is already transferred to the new name. Other than that, we have a lot of background improvements, like for example, if you want to pet a Pokemon and you don't have that, it suggests a new Pokemon and um, all the INI files have been changed to CSV files, which are way, way faster and a lot of background improvements. But let's continue with the installation. Before we start, I also wanted to mention that there is also the possibility to use the setup service. This means, for a small tip, I will connect to your PC via TeamViewer or some other remote program and do the whole setup for you. And you can just lean back and tell me what you want and I'll configure everything for you. If you're interested in this, feel free to contact me on Discord and we'll figure something out. If you want to use the Discord integration, I can recommend to create an own channel for this game. So let's create a Pokemon channel real quick. After that, you can select server settings, integrations, and let's create a new webhook. Here we need to select the channel where it should post, and we can give it any name we want. For example, Pokemon Bot. And then we need to copy the webhook URL. We will need this webhook URL later in the installer. Also, don't forget to hit save changes. 
First of all, we will need two things. The first thing is Sammy. Sammy is the new version of Lyaran Bot. It went through rebranding because of internal issues. To download this, you just click this link. And I will also put all the links in the description. Then you scroll down and here you see Sammy 2022.4.1 x64 zip. Just click this and it will already download. The next thing is of course the PAF mod installer and you can grab that in my coffee. Also go on this link. Then um, you should see this page. It will show here with the new version number 1.2, but at this point of time it isn't released yet, so this will be a little bit different later. Then you enter any amount of money which you want to pay. Of course, you can just enter zero, but if you want to support me, feel free to do that. I would appreciate it. But of course, all of this is completely free. Then you will need to enter any email address because I don't want to use my real email address here. I'll use this one and then hit checkout. Then hit view content and you will want to download the PAF mod version 1.2.0 SAMI zip. Hit download and then you already have downloaded everything you will need. Of course, you will also need OBS, but if you want to use this, you should have OBS already installed on your PC. When the download is finished, you should see two zip files in your folder. Extract both of them, and after the extraction is finished, which might take a few seconds depending on your PC speed, go to the PAF mod version 1.2.0 semi folder. In there, you should see the PAF mod installer and start this as administrator. The first thing you will see is the OBS location. Here you click on the three little dots and navigate to your OBS installation. Normally it's in C, Programs, OBS Studio, Bin, 64 bits and here you see it. But in my case, I have created an extra installation to showcase this. It's on my desktop. As soon as you have done that, you will see the move transition is missing, the OBS WebSocket is missing, and StreamFX is missing. So what you want to do first is download those plugins. You just hit the Download Plugins button, and it will automatically download all of them. As you can see, I have in my download folder now StreamFX, WebSocket and Move Transition. In the next step, now we need to make sure that your OBS is closed. We hit Install Plugins. Here this reminds you that OBS needs to be closed. And then it asks you for the Move Transition. So select the Move Transition zip file. Then it asks you for the OBS WebSocket zip file. So we select the OBS WebSocket zip file and then it asks you for StreamFX. Here we click on install for all users, accept the terms, then we select static and next we need to select our OBS path. If your OBS is in the default location you can leave it like it is, but if not you will need to enter the new path. So in our case we'll navigate to the desktop, OBS Studio, and adjust the path. Then we click next and install and wait until everything is finished. Now it shows that move plugin and um, OBS WebSocket 491 were installed correctly and it asks us to refresh to check if StreamFX is also fine. Now if we hit refresh and all the three things are green, we are good to go. With this, we can now open up OBS and you'll see a lot of pop-ups. StreamFX is required to connect to GitHub, select yes and allow it. And it asks you if you're running OBS WebSocket for the first time, also select yes. 
Now, if you want to use a password, enter it here. If you don't want to use one, disable this box. And I also recommend to disable the system tray alerts or you will get a pop-up every time someone catches a Pokemon. Then we hit OK and we also hit OK here. And to not be annoyed with a lot of pop-ups, I recommend to go to StreamFX and disable the automatically check for updates button. Okay, next we'll move to the semi installation. We already extracted semi earlier and in there you should see an x64 folder. I would recommend to rename this into semi and put it to a location where it can stay. In our case, we'll move it to the desktop. If you move this around later, all your graphics will be screwed up, so put it in a location where it really can stay. Then we open up Sammy, and there is the Sammy Core X. This is like our bot. I'll create a shortcut for this so that we can access this easily from the desktop at any time. Now let's start up Sammy. The first thing you'll see is that it needs to perm the permission to connect with the local networks and we'll allow that. The first thing we need to do is link our Twitch account. To do this we go to Twitch connection, check the auto connect box and hit open URL. This will open an authorization in your browser and as soon as you authorize it, your account should pop up in here. Then we hit connect to Twitch and you should see two of the four lamps going green on the left side. Now we can hit done. In the next step, we will connect our OBS. I also recommend to check the auto connect button and here we will need to enter our OBS settings. You can check them again in OBS when you go to tools. WebSocket server settings and here we see we use port 4444 and we haven't enabled the enable authentication box. So we enter in SAMI the port 4444 and leave it at our local IP and just hit connect. And with this OBS is also connected. The last thing we need to do now is add the bridge to OBS as custom doc. This can be done very easily. We go to bridge and select copy full pass. Next we go to OBS, docs and select custom browser docs. Here we give the doc any name we want, in our case we'll name it Sammy and paste the URL which we copied before. Here you should see a new window pop up and we can put this anywhere maybe behind our chat or something like that. The important thing is this needs to stay open and if it gets closed, you will need to re-add this. But um, it should stay there when you close OBS normally. And as you can see, it's still there. With this, our Sammy should have four green lights and is fully configured. One last thing is that only one semi can run at once. So if you enable the minimize to tray box, which is not recommended, make sure you're not running multiple instances. Now we go back to the mod installer and go to the game settings tab. You can use the tabs up here to navigate or you can use the button to go to the next page. I'm not gonna talk about all of the settings, but in general you can always hover over the labels and get a small description of what the values do. The two most important things are the SAML location, which is in our case on our desktop in SAMI. So we'll select this folder and the broadcaster name which is your streamer name. So in my case, it's Chris1508. So if you use an OBS WebSocket password, we will also need to enter this here. And of course, it's also encrypted, so you don't see it. 
If you have created a webhook earlier, you now will need to copy the webhook URL and paste it in here. If you don't want to use the Discord integration, you can always turn this off. The other settings I would recommend to leave as they are, but if you want to change them, feel free to be my guest. Next, we go to the Pokemon settings and in here you can select which generations you want to use and how high the shiny percentage should be and if you want to use GIFs. And in the last tab, you see all the channel point rewards that exist. Here you can rename however you want. Be aware that you can't change the name later after the installation or you will have to reinstall this. So make sure you like the names. The prices, colors, and pictures can all be adjusted later, but this for the names can only be done here once. As soon as you have filled out all your settings, you just hit install and wait until the installation is completed. Next we go to semi, make sure all four lights are green, and go to bridge, install an extension and navigate to our SAMI folder. In there you should see the Pokemon and Friends folder and in there you should see the PAF game SEF file. Now click this and don't touch anything. It should create the channel point rewards first and as you can see we have 8 channel point rewards. Next it will create the Pokedex scene. And this all happens completely automatically. Don't touch anything at all and just let it happen. As soon as the Pokedex scene is installed, it will continue with the Pokemon scene. And this process might take a minute or two, but as soon as it's done, it will show up a pop-up message. Let me fast forward to this. As soon as you see this message, the installation is completed. If you want to join my Discord, you can always hit yes and then click on my Discord icon to join the Discord. To test that everything was installed correctly, we can now redeem a mystery Pokemon. And as you can see, it works fine. It spawns here and we could throw a Pokeball to try to catch it. But how can you use this in the other scenes? Let me show you how to edit. So let's go to the normal scene. This needs to be done for all the scenes where you want to use it and it's really easy. You just go to your sources, hit add, add a new scene and select the PAF Pokemon scene. Now if we spawn a new Pokemon, you should see it in the scene as well. And the cool thing is, you can move this complete scene around to place the Pokemon wherever you want it to be. With this, the installation is officially completed. But if you want, you can make this even a little bit more beautiful. Because as you can see, our balls don't have any icons right now, but I have included example pictures for all the icons in our mod installer here. Let me go to the mod installer, channel point pictures, and here you can see them. You can add them on your Twitch dashboard to make this look more beautiful. The last thing I can tell you is that if you also want the official Pokemon font, I have also included that in the mod installer under other useful things. So just double click it, hit install. Okay, it's already installed for me. So it uh, shows if I want to reinstall it. And as soon as it's installed, you just need to restart OBS and you're good to go. Last but not least, I wanted to give a shout out to some of the people involved in this project. First of all, there is Annie, my lovely fiance, who helped a lot with graphics and also was always there to support me. Then, of course, we have Shadow Enigma TV. 
Shadow made all the attack animations for PvP, the loading screen, and helped a lot in general in this project. Then we have Pandemonium, Dr. Nico and Alexandru, who helped with all the translations into French, Spanish, and Italian. Then we have SH Nixname. He created the teams for all the PvP gym battles. Then we have Doc Simpson. He does some awesome German tutorial guides. And if you don't have seen his YouTube channel, you should definitely check it out. And last but not least, I wanted to say thanks to all of you. Thank you, everybody, for all the support you gave me. And thank you for sticking with me until the end in this video. But with this, we have reached the end of the video. If you have any questions, always feel free to join my Discord and ask me anything on there. I have channels for the Pokemon game, I have Sammy help channels in general, and if anything goes wrong or if you have any questions, feel free to join, ask me anything you want. Other than that, I wish you all a wonderful day, night, or whatever time it is for you. Stay healthy, take care, and see ya next time. Bye bye!